A 61-year-old nurse has become the latest casualty of the political turmoil in Venezuela. She was killed when men on motorcycles opened fire on people queuing to vote in a poor pro-government part of the capital, Caracas. They were taking part in an unofficial and purely symbolic opposition-led vote, aiming to heap more pressure on President Nicolas Maduro. Opposition parties blame the shooting on pro-government paramilitaries. Monitors of the referendum say 7.2 million people cast ballots in a country of around 19 million registered voters. Among them was the wife of opposition leader Leopoldo Lopez. She said, my response to today's referendum is yes, yes, yes. Yes to freedom, yes to democracy, yes to respecting human rights, yes to the people deciding. Also on Sunday, the state had organized a dry run for an official vote on July 30th, which could result in a new assembly with powers to write a new constitution. A former foreign minister hailed this as a constitution for peace and the sovereignty of Venezuela. Venezuela has been plagued by daily outbursts of anger over food shortages and an economic crisis characterized by rampant inflation. More than 100 people have been killed in related violence since April.